Hey, coming up, got a great hands-on workshop in Putnam, Connecticut, three days long. You will hands-on design and build a cabin, lots of guest speakers, lots of demos, and more, relaxshacks.com. And a shout to our friends at the Jamaica Cottage Shop up in Vermont, purveyors of fine cabins for over 15 years. Hey, I'm Derek Diedrichson from RelaxShacks.com at the Rhode Island Home and Garden Show. And I want to share with you one of the cabins that has been selected, uh, something I built and designed at a workshop of ours, hands-on, um, quite a while ago that is now being displayed here in the Sub-Zero Arctic of Rhode Island at this show. Kind of a refreshing change to be inside. We have about four feet of snow outdoors with the blizzards we've been having, but inside, it's like spring. Chuck Carberry, uh, Chuck was the one responsible for the cool landscaping here. He's a landscape architect out of Rhode Island. Did a fantastic job. I mean, trees and everything, the tulips, just the, uh, you know, they even brought in some boulders here to pepper the, uh, the scene. Um, the picnic ready to go. Chuck did a fantastic job, and I'm just psyched that my cabin is a part of the show. One of two cabins, actually. I'm gonna take you inside real quick before the show opens, before things get too hectic, to kind of show you what's going on. Simple cabin. We had another video of this uh, ways back, but it's about seven by seven feet. And as we cross the slate patio here, inside, you can kind of see through the window, we have this almost manic punk rock vibe going on. The majority of this, except for the plywood here, and the, let's see if I can get up there, I really can't. The Andorra roofing made with recycled asphalt. The majority of this was all stuff found for free at dumps, side of the road. So it's really very much so a project made of recycled and free materials. My own website plug right here, relaxshacks.com. But this cabin, like I said, built at a workshop with a variety of guests, uh, uh, students I should say, last year and we had a lot of fun doing it. We call this a wild wall here different scraps I had from past projects all mosaic together to fill in this wall it makes it very vivid colorful whimsical funky and inside a lot of my artwork and a started craziness just to make it very kiddish fun light-hearted from Avon cologne bottles from yard sales to uh, stuff here and there I just found this is a piece of a fence that I cut off painted a stripe kind of looks like a wooden bottle just having fun with stuff um, robot art I've done, Lego artwork on recycled flooring pieces from my buddy Shippy. You'll see the recurring dinosaur and robot theme. Another art piece I did, you can check out a lot of my bizarre art at my Derek Diedrichson Facebook page. I post it there often. It's all for sale. More robots. Crate I found on the side of the road. Little stubs from some posts that I kind of made into a tiered garden display. Um, cool Lego Pac-Man Ghost. A shameless plug for my book. Available on Amazon.com and BarnesandNobles.com. Humble Home Simple Shacks. And actually, I want to give a shout to uh, where we got it here. As the camera's roving all over the place. One take videos, folks. This book right here is pretty fantastic. If I can flip it over the other way. Um, Design Bloggers at Home just came out. I want to give them a plug. Ellie Tennant. Back to the regularly scheduled tour. Like, you, like I say, you'll see a lot of glass in here and lanterns. Um, and again, more stuff I found on the side of the road. This thing right here, side of the road. Bunch of Ikea pillows. I like their stuff and their patterns and they're reasonable. And uh, an area where robot. Watch. Love it. Then I kind of had a little fun and went a little bit crazy with these stencils. I want to say the guy's name is Ed Roth, who does this whole series of stencil books. I just started uh, spray painting on the empty voids, not that there are many here and there. Piece of art by Kemo, K-E-E-M-O. And Allison Gutchell did this one here. This is one I did, stencil work, and then some paint and marker on top of it, just these robots. That one's called for Marty, don't worry. Um, and uh, I don't know, just dinosaurs, robots, glass bottles, and fun. Funk, I should say. Just wanted to give you a little sneak peek. Again, Rhode Island Home and Garden Show. Oh, one more plug to Carl Mullen. 
who did this, I'm casting a lot of shadows, this cool little piece right here. And that's uh, pretty much all she wrote. A little bit tough to film this because it's seven by seven feet. I just wanted to give you the quick tour again. I'm Derek Diedrichsen from RelaxShacks.com. Thank you for watching.